Okay, in this video we're looking at what is a computational trick using the algebraic concept of difference of squares. In algebra, the idea of difference of squares is that you can factor x squared minus y squared into x minus y times x plus y. And so the way you think about it is a number minus another number times a number plus the same number. Um, and I'll show you in a little bit why that's so valuable. You can verify that this is true by doing double distributive property. x times x is x squared. x times y is xy. You've got um, negative y times x is negative xy. And then you've got negative y times negative y is negative y squared. The xy's cancel, leaving you with x squared minus y squared. And so that's true. So here's the example, a couple examples showing you how to use difference of squares to do some multiplication. Now, the first one is 4 times 6. Obviously, we know that 4 times 6 equals 24, but I wanted to use it as an example. So, 4 times 6, well, those two numbers, 4 and 6, are equidistant from a number um, in between them, 4 and 6. And so, 4 minus 6, uh, they're both equidistant from 5. 4 is 5 minus 1, and 6 is 5 plus 1. And so that means that 4 times 6 can be written like 5 minus 1, 5 plus 1, which means it then can also be written as 5 squared minus 1 squared, which is 25 minus 1, which equals 24, like we knew. 7 times 13 is the same way, right? 7 times 13 is equidistant away from 10. It's 10 minus 3, 10 plus 3. And so we write um, 7 times 3, uh, 7 times 13 is 10 minus 3 times 10 plus 3. Well, that's just difference of squares, so that is the same as 100 minus 9, which equals 91. Again, a lot of you probably already knew that 17 times or 7 times 13 is 91, but this is an example uh, of how to use difference of squares to find the same product. Okay, so let's do a couple that we haven't already written out the solution. 18 times 22. Well, because the difference between them is an even number, 4, we know we can use difference of squares multiplication. So 18 times 22, well, they're both 2 units away from 20. So we can rewrite this as 20 minus 2 times 20 plus 2. So 20 minus 2 times 20 plus 2. Well, that means it's the same as the first number, 20 squared, which is 400, minus the second number, 2 squared, which is 4. And so 18 times 22 is just 396. Now, that's one that you probably didn't know. You probably didn't know that 18 times 22 equals 396. And you didn't need to learn it. You just needed to have to know that 20 squared is 400 and 2 squared is 4. So, example 4, 21 and 29 are both 4 units away from 25. So that means we can write 21 times 29 as 25 squared, 625, minus 4 squared, which is 16. 625 minus 16 is just 609. So 21 times 29 equals 609. So now you can really start to see why difference of squares can be so useful because we were able to pretty much in our head with a little bit of computation writing down, but we could have probably done 625 minus 16 in our head and got 609. The last one recognizes that um, 44 and 56 are both six units away from 50. So 50 squared is just 25 adding two zeros. And then 6 squared is just 36, so it's just 2,500 minus 36, which is 2,464. All of a sudden, we took a big product, two pretty big numbers multiplied together, and very quickly determined that the product was 2,464. This is an excellent computational technique that any, uh, any good mathematician should have in their arsenal.